Within this case is a new weapon made for John Wick. And here I am on my way to Keanu Reeves' house to drop it off. At least that's the plan. In the John Wick movies, there have been a combined total of 439 people killed by Mr. Wick. But out of all of those deaths, there's one scene that I can't get out of my head and is now even a meme. And of course, I'm talking about the pencil scene. Modified for YouTube. But there's something clearly wrong here. If you know your guns, you know that John doesn't use pleb civilian hardware. He goes straight for the heavily modded Gucci guns. This is a base model Glock 34. John runs the Glock 34 Combat Master. Here's a base 6 hour MPX. John runs the TTI MPX. Standard 2011. And then John's Pit Viper. And his pencil is just a pencil. But does John actually need a modded out pencil? Here is a super realistic human head, but with fake squishy skin, fake brains, and nothing of real substance. Just like his balls. Wooden pencil, through the ear canal test. Two, one. The pencil pierced the gelatin skin, but immediately slid down the skull. The pencil also broke super easily, and I couldn't even do John Wick's finishing move. The word pencil appears 10 times and is even ranked number 2 on the list of John Wick's top 20 weapons. But things aren't looking so hot. These are the inconsistencies that I cannot live with. John Wick needs a customized Gucci pencil as a part of his arsenal. Gotta have a pencil fight. And when I reached out to Keanu Reeves to see what he thought of the idea, he seemed really excited. So it was straight to work. First step was design. My close friend David, who worked as a design engineer at Tesla, focused on perfecting the form factor and assemblies, which was then turned into engineering drawings. But it wasn't until revision after revision of fixing technical issues until we both agreed on a final design. The pencil could never fail in the field or on set, so it was vital that every piece was made to extremely tight tolerances. Through all the catting, late nights at the shop, and rejecting hundreds, thousands of women trying to distract us, we finally finished something we're proud to have John Wick carry. After almost a year of development, we were able to create something that looks exactly like a normal pencil. However, this is not a pencil. Rather than wood, we went with an entirely CNC'd metal construction. You'll also notice the tip isn't made of graphite either, or even the same material as the metal body. Instead, the tip is made of tungsten carbide. The only material harder than this type of metal are diamonds. And my nipple. Every manufacturer we went to decided to no-quote us saying that they couldn't make a tip this stabby. And it has a, a pointy sharp bit here. Or told us just to use those off-the-shelf blunt tips that every tactical pen uses. But that's when we found a machine shop to build a fully customized compaction mold for the sintered tungsten powder. Going through all that trouble to make this custom tip does give it so many more capabilities. For example, we stopped by a random parking lot in San Francisco and found this door from a brand new BMW. All it takes is a light strike on the glass to completely shatter it. But what happens if someone backs into his bike or dings his door? Well, a pencil ain't gonna cut it. Instead, he could grab a crossbow and modify one of the bolts. It can easily go through a car door. Don't worry, we put this one back. But before we test the pencils head to head using the head, there's another thing. Functionality wise, Keanu Reeves needs to be able to perform quarter second lobotomies as well as write checks to charities on the same day. Well, if you take a closer look at the eraser end, what looks like an eraser actually unscrews to expose a waterproof D1 pen tip. Lastly, if you look closely, you may be wondering what the letters FP stand for. We once killed three men in a bar. A we pencil. I know, I've heard the story, sir. But how well does it do what John Wick does best? And of course for that, I'm suiting up like visually impaired John Wick. In three, two, one. Flip it over. Oh. <laughs> Even though it easily punctured the skull. Fake blood, fake blood, fake blood, fake blood. I realized there's one more comparison test I need to make with the wooden pencil before this could be handed off to Keanu Reeves. If you follow the channel, you know my favorite type of guns are the modernized antiquated ones, which is why I got this. 
No spoilers, but if you saw John Wick 4 or its trailer, you know there's a single shot break action pistol. If we make the wooden pencil go as fast as a speeding bullet, perhaps we have a shot at making it through my fixed goal. Speaking of which, this pistol shoots some thick bullets, so to make the pencil fit snug, we need a Sabot similar to an APDS round for a tank. So I made one out of wood. Chances are, I'm going to lose these, and at least it's biodegradable. So the pencil did break in half, unfortunately. There wasn't much damage to the skull either. But what a fantastic opportunity to keep tugging myself by trying the metal pencil instead. Will it cause more damage? The answer is yes, what a dumb question. Interestingly, the head didn't explode. Rather, there's a clean entry wound and no pencil to be found. Oh yeah, it's a clean hole. It might just be inside of his head. But it wasn't inside. Take a look at the right edge of the table. That thing went flying. Here's another angle. It's ready. After a quick celebratory hard lemonade, and one last finishing touch, the end was in sight. Through all the challenges and time spent on this project, there was absolutely nothing else that could possibly prevent me from delivering this pencil. If it wasn't super obvious, we did make a small batch of extra pencils for you guys. If you want one of these for yourself, use the link down below, those will ship out very soon. We haven't exactly decided if we're making a second batch yet, so if it says out of stock on the website, give us a few months to make more. Also use the code below for 20% off of your f***ing pen or fat PP order on the Stabby Lives website.